Hey guys, I'm over at Riz's house. We're gonna do a replacement of a furnace, a return drop, a humidifier, and an air cleaner. Um, we're gonna have to modify the two inch um, intake and exhaust to go into the top and side of our new furnace, or I'm sorry, both the top actually. Um, but new return drop, we'll move it all the way over to the edge here, so we'll need a patch um, that's gonna fill the old return space and we'll drop our return straight down um, into our new air cleaner. We'll do a six inch space underneath our new furnace um, so we can pull air in from the side and the, the bottom of it. Our gas line is good. We can reuse the existing gas line. Um, we'll just break it there from the shut or the, um, the uh, union and shut off valve. We'll give them a new shut off valve, so I'll put that on the checklist um, and then we'll bring that into the furnace. Um, all the condensate lines, we'll go ahead and just replace all of them. Um, so new condensate line for the for the uh, coil down to the floor here, as well as a condensate drain line for the uh, humidifier and the furnace itself. We'll all run right down to the floor. You can probably just tie into the existing PVC that's here. New humidistat and humidifier will be mounted on the system. This is a bypass humidifier. Just runs back into the supply there. Um, I'll talk to him about a powered humidifier as well. That could be an option. Give him a little bit more comfort. Um, my breaker panel's over here in the corner. Um, and we have a Siemens load center and the air conditioner. Not quite sure which one it is. It's got to be one of these double 30s or possibly the double 40 right there on the top. That should be everything.